Steel Angels. Today is February 22nd. We are here hiking in Campadere once again. We are going to go onto the Powdered River section down there today. We plan to find about 10 geocaches. We hope to see you on the trail. It is definitely worth coming out to Camp Adair at this time of year. Leaves are down, grass is down, and the foundations are very visible. They're hiding literally all around us. And now, the Wheat Ranger is about to make her final leap on the little bridge she made to get across. She is going to land on that rock, hopefully. But it depends. Let's see how well she does. It's not going to, don't worry. The one time we forgot a hiking stick. Yes. Wisdom. And I had to do a jump across the trees, into the tree, over to there, and over the wall, which of course had to be above my height. This is my eye level. Such a peaceful place and such a turmoil to get here. Even the foundations are swamped with water right now. It's peaceful and beautiful and we're hoping there's a geocache in here somewhere. sort of bushwhacking on the trail away from the last year cache and all of a sudden there's daffodils in the middle of absolute nowhere and the reason we found this daffodil is because we found we were following a nice shiny spot that really didn't belong here pretty sure that's not a geocache we're gonna pick it up and get it out of here the perils of geocaching we found the cache we found a way in and then we decided to take a shortcut out big mistake we should have just trekked back to the car and started over in a different direction. <laughs> We're back. We have found ourselves at an impossible trough. This is all water. It is about a foot deep. It looks a foot deep, even though, because there's waves down there, it's probably a couple feet deep. We actually came by here last time through this trail, and we went that way to that trail over there. Except we can't really do that now because of this in the way. It used to only be a small little stream, but now it is pretty big. Which is why the head ranger made us a trail. So 
somewhere in there, there is a trail. a full mile looking for one geocache that was all the way, very away, a uh, point one of a mile away. Sometimes geocaching involves some other maintenance. There's a tree in the way, so we're gonna see if I can get it off. the most unexpected find that we could possibly have. The chef ranger just came totally charging after us, unplanned, unexpected, and scared the living lights out of us. He needed a hike. Do you two see a litter from the road? No. no. Okay, this, there, this is why I can't uh, find a geocache because I can see litter. Right there. After we came through bushwhacking, finding a geocache, we had a very big surprise. Yes, Hugh. We had somebody sneaking up on us. So E.E. E. Wilson or Campadere acted again as the Oriental Express. You never know who you're going to have coming out of the Brumble. I had a lot of fun tracking them through the bramble. I think we have a new geocacher coming out with us. No, not like <laughs> <laughs> But it was fun. And there goes the chef ranger after his adventures. The guy came right up to talk to us. can literally kill you, in case you didn't believe it. Today we have hiked three miles in a, the course of about three hours. We found four geocaches today. 
We picked up nine cans and about half a bag full of trash. Plus, we had quite a surprise today. We'll see you next, next time, time on Hashtag, hashtag Pointing. Pointing.